Hi YouTube, this is my brother. Hi. Today we're gonna try snacks from around the world. Um, but today I kind of divided up this gigantic snack box I have into, I guess chips is how I would describe them. But yeah, I have a list of where everything is from on my computer. Um, I'm gonna have you grab them based off of what I tell you it is. Our first item is ketchup chips from the land very far away, Canada. We're gonna see if we like them. I've actually read these because I've watched people eat them before. Yeah. And I don't know the ASMR content. Whoa. I have high hopes for these ones. Okay, you take a chip. I mean, they smell like ketchup. Oh my god, they smell exactly like ketchup. It's kind of. Kinds. Like, kind of concerningly. A little bit. You ready? It tastes exactly like ketchup. I'm gonna give these like a five out of ten. I mean, they did it. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I'm curious who would buy them in such a big bag. Um, Canadians. I don't know. I'll give it like a six. Okay. A six is That's I feel like fair. It's generous. One snack down. Let's keep it moving. We have our next snack. Injera from Ethiopia. I don't think that this qualifies as a chip or a crisp, but it was like the closest categorical thing that I could put it into. Um, but we've had on Jera before, just not dried. Yeah. Um, I think I'm saying that right too. Jera pronunciation. Injera. Never mind, it's in Jera. <laughs> I think that this is gonna be good. I know that it'll taste more sour. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I mean, it tastes exactly how it I remember It tastes like it. how I remember Angera. I don't know, at least in the way that we've eaten it before, it's always soaked with different condiments and different mm -hmm. sauces. And I feel like this would do really well with like a with sauce. With everything, yeah. If you had hummus. Yeah, that'd be delicious. That'd be really good. All right, Angera. Two out of ten, no. <laughs> I would give it like a, a four out of ten. I'm saving my high ranking scores for other things. Really? You're ranking ketchup higher than Yeah. Alright, that's fair. Uh, I'll give that it's a just a little too sour for me. I'll give I'll give good. I'll give that a serious like, I don't know, seven out of ten. <laughs> okay. Now we're kinda getting rid of the snacks that are not technically crisps right now. We're gonna pick up the durian. Freeze dried durian. This is from Malaysia. Um I've never had durian before, not even in like regular fresh durian. And if you don't know about durian, it's Called, I think it's like garbage fruits the name for it um, because it smells really really bad when you eat it and we were wondering if the like faintly I understand if the freeze-dried version would also smell kind of bad oh yeah it doesn't smell bad it just it doesn't like, it kind of smells like apple almost a little bit It tastes garlicky. I'm gonna be real, it tastes like every other freeze dried thing I've had. Oh my god, what is that? It tastes garlicky. It's just not what I expected it to taste like. 7 out of 10. You like it? I do. That's good. Probably because it, it doesn't taste like a lot because it's been freeze dried and packaged like mm. this, but. I think I would like it fresh more. Not a big freeze dried fruit person. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, everything in my mouth right now tastes like coffee because I'm having coffee. You no, know, it's growing on me. Seven out of ten. It has more flavor than the ketchup chips. Ooh, platanos. Mm -hmm. We've had tostones before, so this one's not a huge surprise. I mean, thankfully, growing up in the Bay Area from Oakland, I think we eat a lot of food from around the world just because that's just like ingrained into our city. Um, but tostones are from Latin America and they're just plantains. Fried plantain. Garlic. Plantain garlic flavor. Green plantain chips. Oh, they smell good. They smell really good. Yeah. Oh my god. That's like a 9 out of 10. Yeah, that's really good. Not really good. Oh, those are so good. No. I'm gonna rework them. Next up. We'll grab the Takis. Takis are from Mexico. We grew up eating them though in the Bay Area. This is possibly um, the most crushed bag ever. They're really, really crushed because they shipped in like a flat rate package. Flat. Yeah. <laughs> I already know what these are gonna do for my score. 
Well, they're actually not that crushed. Hey everybody, here's my talkie. Ready? <laughs> yeah. 10 out of 10. Oh, we didn't rate the last ones. I did, 9 out of 10. Oh, all right, we'll give it a 9 out of 10. Talkie, 10. I don't know how you give it anything less than a 10, honestly. It's so good, the lime, really the like lime flavor. Next up, we're gonna try the cheese rings from the Philippines. This is this close up of, of our thing, the cheese ring. Um, from the Philippines. Got it. They feel like they're gonna taste like Cheetos. Yeah, they cheese. smell like Cheetos. Like they smell like Cheetos. cheese. <laughs> okay. The texture is like softer than Cheeto. Yeah. And the cheese flavor is also a lot more subtle. Which I, tends to be the truth with Asian. Yeah. I don't mind it. I don't mind it either. I think it tastes good, but it's not like... We just ate a Taki though. Then so that's like such a like, powerful taste. It reminds me of like a rice cracker. It's sweet. Yeah. It's good. I like it I a like lot. I like it. I give that an eight out of 10. Me too. Eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Well done, Philippines. Next Same. up, we have mosquitoes from Brazil. I think they just powdered Look pasta. At them. They're so small. It's not even focusing. Focus! Whatever. You can tell what it is, kind of. Just a disc. Like cheese puffs, Brazilian cheese puffs. That's like a cross between a, a, like a crisp and a puff. I noticed that cheese flavored things outside of the United States are more subtle. They're good though. I'll give them like a six out of ten. A what? A six out of ten. Wow. Quite hard. Well, like I, I, anything above a five is good in my book. That's a D. I feel like my expectations for cheese flavored things are a lot higher because of things like Cheetos. I mean, if I'm gonna be real, I love Cheetos. I'd give them like a six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me find it. Snacku! Snacku! Snacku rice crackers. Vegetable flavored. Another one from the Philippines. Whoa! Oh, can you see it? Oh my god, they're like, they look like green bean. <laughs> <It's so narrow. laughs> wow, this. Okay, I'll, ready? I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> ready? Like. Right, right out of the bag, it kind of tastes, or it kind of feels a bit stale. Wait, let me... It's sweet. This reminds me of something that we grew up with. Pretz. Oh. But like softer version. Very, very soft. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what pretz are, they're kind of like pocky, mm -hmm. um, but without any of the coating. And they're savory flavored, yeah. typically. And they have like flavors like salad and tomato. Oh God, the salad I really like them. So salad good. ones are really good. I'm gonna give these... A four out of ten. Four out of ten. I do a five out of ten. Tato. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, this is easily the biggest bag. Tato, Tato crisps. It's got a, it's got a bunch of. They're cheese and onion flavored. Oh, this is epic. Right. Oh, it's like a reasonable serving of chips. I don't know what it is, but American serving sizes are always way too large for whatever the one singular person needs. I they see, taste like regular potato chips. I, I see why they're the original. Mm-hmm. They they're don't good, really taste like cheese or onion. They're good, like I obviously keep eating them. I, they're they're a chip. You like they make you want to keep eating them. Yeah. Okay. I understand the flavor the more that I eat them. It's like the world's most subtle sour cream and onion flavor. But I don't just like that. I actually think Ooh. it's quite nice. I got the onion. Six out of ten. Somalia is shift over here. These are really good. These are really good. I Six really, out of ten. I really like them. Okay, seven out of ten. I'm gonna give that a ten out of ten. Really? Honestly, yeah. They're really good. The more really... I eat them, that they're like. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I kind of need a control for like a baseline to compare everything else to. Mm-hmm. Because like I wouldn't get tired of eating this. Like even Takis, after a while, mm. the taste gets a bit monotonous. That's true. Well done, Arlen. I also want to point out how hilarious the mascot is. There you go. He's just such a sad looking Mr. Potato Man. Tato's gets 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Calderon is from India. 
and I didn't it doesn't necessarily fit into the chip or crisp category it's kind of like a medley mixture um but I figured it could kind of work because there's some rice crackers in it and yeah. it feels like it is appropriate. I imagine that Dylan and I have probably eaten something really similar Absolutely. to this. We have Indian family members and so... Wow. Indian food is something we just grew up with really frequently. Whoa! Whoa! How do you eat this? It's like crispy noodles that were mashed up. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, I've had this! Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Oh my uh, god. I don't know. It's, this is like the perfect savory snack. Mm -hmm. Okay, how to describe it to the person not eating it? It's aromatic because Indian food tends to be that way with all the spices. But then also, so they put it's potato sticks, cashew nuts, mung bean. Mung bean has like crispiness to it, but I think there's like noodles that they crushed up and put it in. I think I spilled it everywhere. But yeah, I'm making a huge mess. Okay, we did our our snacks for this episode. So thanks so much for joining. You can get out now. <laughs> so that concludes the first episode of I don't know how many episodes it's going to be, but um, trying international sex. There's a lot of snacks. It's probably going to go on for a bit. There's a lot of snacks. The subcategories within some of the snacks is kind of crazy. Like we have a whole box of Mexican candy, so we'll have to go through that and try all of that. We also have eight different flavors of ramen. So oh. that'll be Intense. Could we do like a blind taste test? <laughs> we could. That'd be fun. We could. Um, but yeah, thanks Dylan for joining for this. I Thank you. If he wants to be back for the next one. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of held here against my will, but that was that was really lit. I'm not supposed to tell them that. All right, lit. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm gonna go I'll sit back you. in the corner I live in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye.